Hey, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can programmatically render your roots and your tab buttons in your Ionic React applications. So this will work well with the side menu as well and any other type of roots that you need to display. So we're gonna store our root and button information inside an array of objects and then use this array of objects to render out our roots and our tab buttons. So let's jump into the code and see how we can do this in our Ionic React applications. Okay, so I have just started up a new Ionic React application and I have navigated into the app component. This tutorial will work exactly the same for TypeScript. So whichever one you're using, it will work perfectly. So within the app component, this is where all of our roots and our tab buttons are displayed by default. So by default, we have three routes and we also have a route that redirects the user to a path if that route is hit. Then below that, we have the ion tab bar. And then within the ion tab bar, we have tab buttons that are related to each route. Now, we could have multiple routes that don't have a tab button. So for example, we could have another 12 routes. And you can see that this file could get pretty big and pretty unreadable, just like any other sort of root information in any application. So I came up with a way that allows us to programmatically render our roots and our tab buttons. So it just seems a little bit more readable and a little bit more maintainable as well. So the first thing that you wanna do is we're going to come into the pages folder here and we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this index.js or if you're using typescript it would be ts for now i'm using javascript now what we want to do here is we want to create an array of objects to store the information that is important to each route and to each button as well so looking at the routes and the buttons, we can clearly see that we need a path, we need a component, we need an icon, and we need a label, and we also need the tab number and the href here as well. Now the good thing about this is the href is directly related to the path in the routes. So that can be stored in one field. And depending on your start index, this number can be pretty much any number that you want. So to get started, we wanna come into our index.js or index.ts, and we want to export a pages array. And this array is going to hold all of the information that we need for our roots and our buttons. So each root and button is its own unique item. So we need some sort of data type to store that in. So an object seems like a good idea. Inside this object, we're going to define a label. And the first one is going to be tab one. We need a path. And if we go back and just double check, we can see that it is tab one and tab two and tab three. So we can say path tab one and we can say icon and we can directly import our icons into this file. So a good thing to do here is go back to our app component and come up to where it imports all of the tabs and the icons, copy these four lines of code and paste these into the top of this file. Now we will need to change these imports to be directly in this folder because our index.js, if you look at the file structure, is within pages. So we are importing the tabs directly from this folder. So now that we have our components and our icons, we can start setting up our little object again. So we need a label, a path, an icon, and one other thing that we need is we need to determine which route is going to redirect our application. So in this case, it is tab one. So we can put a Boolean flag on this tab one object 
and say redirect equals true and then for the next objects we can literally just copy this one and change these to tab 2 tab 3 and change the redirect on these ones to false and then set up our little icons for each of these now there is one thing missing from each of these and if you haven't spotted it already it is the component so we can directly relate a component to each of these objects here so tab one tab two and finally tab three so that's our array of objects set up it's ready to go now all we need to do is import this exported array into our app component and then use it to dynamically render our roots and our buttons so let's go back into app and first of all what i want you to do is copy the last root and the redirect root and we can either paste it in this file or just paste it in here it's just to have reference to it so you don't need to remember how to set up your route and then also copy one of the tab buttons as well and paste it in here now i'm going to remove all these tab buttons and we're just left with the ion tab bar and you can see on the right hand side that our tab buttons have now disappeared we don't have any tab buttons we can't get to tab 2 or tab 3 now what i'm going to do is i am going to remove all the roots and save now we're left with our ion router outlet which is empty and our ion tab bar which is also empty so now what we can do is we can map over our pages array by importing pages from pages because it's index.js so we can map and we can render our roots so in here we are going to return a root so the first block of code for the root we're going to copy this and paste this now for this implementation we are going to provide the component specifically for the root because we have access to that component from our object in the array so we can just write it like this so that will set up our roots for us and now we can do the exact same thing for the ion tab buttons so we can say pages.map page index and in here we are going to return our tab button so let's copy our code for our tab button paste this in and if we if we save this we're going to get all of the same tabs because we just pasted it in however now we can replace all of these for the values in our object now a good little trick here is to destruct the page so we can take out label we can take out path and we can take out the icon from the page then all we need to do is say tab and then the number and in the href we can just say path and then in the icon we can say icon and instead of writing tab 3 we just render the label and if you look on the right hand side you can see that the tabs have now rendered with the icons and the labels dynamically from our array of objects now our roots seem to be broken as you can see on the right hand side our page content is not displaying and that is because we've missed the path in the root here so this root needs to have a path of page.path from the object and then we can also supply exact as well here now if we refresh this app you can see that we see our pages and we can also navigate between the tabs with our dynamically built up routes and our tab buttons now what happens if we try and access our app from the root we get a blank screen now that is because we have not set up our redirect route 
remember in our array of objects we assigned a boolean flag to each of these objects and the first one was true so we need to somehow determine which root is the redirect and then render out this redirect root as well as our normal roots so a simple way to do this is outside the map we can just paste this in and in the redirect to we can just simply do a filter pages.filter and check if the page redirect is true and pull out the path and save that now if we refresh it redirects successfully to our tab one because the tab one has the redirect of true on it this is how we can render our roots and our tab buttons from an array of objects programmatically as i said this will work for side menus as well and any other routes that you do have within your app so if you had in here for example you had a page so like page one but this wasn't a tab so for example let's just put in a random one you can see on the right hand side that it will actually render on the tab bar now we could put in another boolean here and say is tab false and just for consistency we can put this into all of these and for the tabs we can set this as true and then within our app here whenever we are returning our ion tab buttons in the second map we can simply just check if is tab then return and we can pull out the is tab from our destructured object now just so react doesn't shout at us we can just return null here and there we go we now have three tabs but we will actually have four routes in here as well so if we were to navigate to tab four in theory this should work and you can see tab four will redirect to tab three component and it's clearly showing on the screen so guys that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, leave a little comment and if you haven't yet subscribed please make sure you do as it does help me out and you'll be notified of any videos upcoming until the next time i'll see you then